Hello, I'm Margaret Noble, and you are at High Tech High Media Arts. Right now, you're in the Art and Technology classroom. I am working with my collaborator, Sunny Vanderspeck, with 50 students who have done conceptual research, computer programming, and digital media design to create interactive experiences that relate to their lives now and how it connects with historical art movements. Our art movement is Baroque and we're focusing on Italian Baroque which centered around the Catholic Refor Reformation. We decided to make a game that would uh, more or less replicate what a propaganda artist would go through in World War II and we did this by creating sort of like a choose your own adventure style multiple option, multiple choice game. Pretty much our whole uh, project was based off of New Media Art, so we chose uh, Dada, and then like we connected it to the present using Vaporwave Art. These projects involve their research-based uh, projects. In my class, they work on uh, research papers, and we start with these larger questions of uh, what was happening in the world, what is an art movement, and what is the, what is the art movement pushing against, or what does a movement in history or a social movement push against what is that history. Data was like an art form that was reacting to the war. So what the data did is it questioned what art itself was. And then they even moved to now, which is what is what are we pushing against now? What are artists doing? What do these students want to say? What is their message? What we're using with Vaporave is Vaporave just looks like a bunch of random images that are popped up because you don't understand the imagery behind it unless they explain it to you and it's considered not art. So we're basically proving that Vaporave is art by using data in the past. Each student actually has an interactive experience. So they're going to invite you to their station, they're going to facilitate a conversation with you, and you're going to walk into their graphics essentially with your mind and go through a lot of different choices that they are hoping will provoke you to think deeper about their topic. We wanted to show the Syrian refugee crisis in a different way. We've all seen the shocking photos of like the child on the beach and uh, I think we wanted to show something that wasn't as abrasive but it made it showed the struggle that these refugees are facing. I guess what our interactive piece is trying to say is that anyone can see this art. You know, you could go on the internet and access it and it's just very interactive and it tries to, um, it basically highlights all the um, characteristics of Baroque without having to like get in a plane and go all the way to Germany to see all these things. It says we need a piece of artwork from you that will increase production. So we have multiple choices here. So we have a comical poster about the enemy, a song that inspires women to join in the workforce, a poster that reminds America to stay focused, a poster that will scare Americans into working. You could think of some of them as video games, some as interactive art pieces. Some are very literal and documentary style, some are more abstract, but the hope is that each one starts a conversation. We're trying to have students leave the classroom with an inquiry and leaving with wanting to ask more questions about the world and not have this idea where, oh, I'm finished, I'm throwing my books on the ground, I'm graduating, but, you know, questioning the world around them. So I learned to, like, take the time to look at an art piece and instead of just, like, walk past it, just be like, oh, that just looks like a rose, it doesn't mean anything to me. What Vaporwave has shown me is that not only is it just not a random art piece, but it, um, it says that anything can be art with a message, and you just have to take the time to look at it. I'm really proud of their work. I think it's really excellent. Um, and I hope that we get a lot of audience members to join us and see what high school kids can do.